All right, and so I, I did do a video about Hiram Smith, really kind of more asking questions. I've emailed people about this photograph that I found a couple websites, they haven't got back to me, that matches the death mask perfectly. Even the lighting is exactly the same as when someone photographed the death mask. And like the cleft of the chin. This is like, whoa, this is perfect. Even this eye. The mouth. The nose is absolutely perfect. And then I have some disappointing news here. I, I, uh, my mind is blown. Um, but yeah, this was found on on Family Search, and then this is found on basically an anti Mormon website. It, yeah, I won't pull it up. Um, and then I found this last night. I mean, I've emailed people, and then I was even just kind of asking on Facebook. I'm like, so what's the story? What's the story with this? Does anyone know? You know, because his descendants are there. I'm like, but wouldn't this be talked about more? You know, but yeah, there's no controversy. No one's trying to like prove it's him. I'm just asking and I'm just like, I don't own this. You know, I own my photograph of this 1840s Illinois guy. I know that's real. And, and so, so for just for me personally, I, I'm having so much fun analyzing it, but I know it's real. I have it. It's in, I've held it, you know, I haven't held this, you know, but <laughs> But I, I found this last night because I was just looking at pictures of Joseph F. Smith. And I could tell when he was younger and then compared to older, like his nose changed so much. Like his nose looks so thin and just totally different compared to the older photographs of Joseph F. Smith. Um, but it was always like zoomed in, you know, once I found and the last night I found this. And I'm looking at the writing stick and I start looking at the hands and then the jacket. I, I'd stared at this for a long time and then I was like, no way. What? No, no, no. Even the rings are the same. And even looking at, I mean, it looks like his, you initially look and think that his, this is on, um, I don't know. But then you see that this is exactly the same. This is exactly the same. And... And, and I did notice that this looked more like what you would call in art is kind of like a hard edge. And so when you're noticing, if you look at tabloids, you can tell someone Photoshop someone's face somewhere by seeing the hard edge. But, but then I was just like, but it is an old photo. And I don't know, maybe something just made it look like that. And the ear did look weird. Um some things that just really I, I don't understand you know even the metal so like if you look at the colorized version um uh, okay so this is found on family search and, and and someone did a painting and saw Hiram Smith you just google that um someone owns his house in Navi, Illinois, and inside of that house is a painting that's based on this. So I'm like, well, someone believes that this is Hiram. Because if you scroll through, you're like, oh, this is the, you know, this just really, really matches this, even in the shadows, just as much as the picture of Joseph F. Smith matches. Yeah, and, 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 and I think I did notice and have quite had questions about like why does this just between these two this is suddenly pixelated, but this is uploaded to Family Search. Um and so yeah, I've been emailing like emailing these people just wondering hoping that someone had authenticated it and I just was so passionate that you know, this would be awesome.
to have a photograph of Hiram. Whoever owns it, I didn't I don't own it. So but what I don't get, you know, is the detail in this vest. So like why is I couldn't find so this is on a lot of LDS, like reputable not owned by the church, but um you know, pretty reputable websites and Joseph F. Smith's families in Utah, they have photographs, so I I would I'm sure that these more up there reputable websites would contact the family member and say, Oh, so you own this. We know this is Joseph F. Smith when he's like eighteen or something, nineteen is what they were saying. And it's just so damaged and so blurry. But this looks like real damage of a real photograph or scan of a photograph. I don't know. But why can't I find one of Joseph F. Smith at this? Is, is this clear? And, and this head is so different. Even the shape of it is so different. So this is definitely came from somewhere. And it matches, you know, Hiram Smith's face, even his sideburns, his hairstyle, looking at Maudsley's drawing. And, it, and even this looks like a shadow, like it looks like someone's ring of hair. Like, I don't think this is like a cartoon version of someone's face. I think it's a real photograph, but then, but yes, yeah, some similarities that are just like nuts are like the eyes. But there is an expression going on with this guy's face that's not happening with this guy. And the noses are totally different. The lips actually are very, very different. His upper lip is more full. And his lower lip is just totally different. The chin is different. The shape of their face is really different just for some reason. The eyes look about exactly the same. But, you know, he has his son, you know. But this looks very clear and very detailed. So it, it doesn't make sense. And so I scoured the internet to find another version of this, and every version was very damaged. And they were saying it's Joseph F. Smith, who later became president and prophet of the church. And even there's a 1910 in that newspaper article where, you know, like 80, 90 year old Joseph Smith III is email writing to the Salt Lake Tribune. He, he mentions something about, even in 1910, about knowing about people superimposing faces on photos. So I'm just like, what? I don't know. So I don't know when one of these was manipulated, how, why. But I, I really have more questions and answers. But like, I know this is Hiram's face. I just do. I just do. So this is crazy. This is so, so crazy. So if you have any answers, let me know. I'm just going to keep asking until I find more answers because someone has some authentic version of one of these. And I mean, logically, it would make sense that this is the real one. And, and because of that hard edge, you know, that would think, okay, some this head got superimposed on here and the collar is different, but everything down here is exactly the same. So I don't know, people, oh, I'm so mad that people lie and do these things, but I'm like, but why? What's the point? I don't know. But I don't lie. I'll just let you, I'll tell you that. You, you have to take my word for it, but I don't. And that photo I own is real. So I get why people are not trusting. And when I contacted the church history department, um, the first thing I did was call. And, and they wanted me just to, like, oh, so if you have a picture of a prophet, you can donate it here, like, for free. You're just going to send it. And I just, like, days before, used a lot of my paycheck to buy my photos. I'm like, I'm not. You know, so when I emailed them, they probably thought I was being a jerk, but I'm like, I'm letting you know I have this, but I'm not interested in just giving it to you, but I'm not asking for a bunch of money, but I know this is, I really believe that I have photographed photograph of Joseph Smith, but, and so I just gave them my evidence and I'm still finding more. I really thought the vest and perfectly matching and, and the, you know, I think there is mine matches up and has a lot of, um location and everything things just match up but there's things i can find out about mine i can get mine authenticated and with crap like this going on you know um 
I get why people aren't super like, I mean, you have to be skeptical and I get that, but you can't authenticate a photo. And there's some forensic things that I'm really excited that I know could uh, prove some interesting things. Yeah. So, so I, I just, I've been sick a lot and I haven't, I've only had it a few months and I'm poor, so I don't, I can't pay somebody to help me research. It's just me that has been researching my photograph and working on my website. No one else. Um, but yeah, I'm an honest person and so I'll just keep you updated and I'm glad I didn't put this picture on my website, but I wanted to hear back from people before I did. So I don't know. I don't know. If you know anything, please tell me because this is hilarious, but crazy. Like wh why, why is there more detail on this one? If this is the fake, even though of course it's gotta be, but, but there's more detail. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. <laughs> My mind is just exploding. Anyway, have a good day.